guys, this is Lauren Pappas, Fit DJ, and I'm joined today by a fellow Philadelphian. His name is Ralph Tedesco. That's it. Did I get it right? Got it right. Yes, awesome. Okay, so um, this is your company. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, Zenoscope is the name of the company. We have been, we're a comic book publisher. We've been in business about, oh my God, 13 years. I'm getting old. Um, yeah, we've been around for a while. Uh, we publish. We started out publishing a title called Grim Fairy Tales, which was simply put, it was like Twilight Zone meets the fairy tales. So before all those shows like Grimm and Once Upon a Time were on the air, we started publishing basically a dark twist on classic fables and such, and it kind of took off for us right away. So uh, my business partner Joe Brush and myself started doing a lot of like reinventions of public domain properties. They, we published a title called Return to Wonderland. Uh, a title called Neverland and a few other things. Um, we right now our most popular character is Robin Hood, which is a female uh, version of the Robin Hood mythology, but takes place in the modern day. And it's sort of like Jessica Jones meets Arrow, I guess you could say. Um, and then from there, we just you know kept publishing like horror comics, all different genres, but like really stick to the mainly the darker stuff or the fantasy stuff. So yeah. So how did you, like, what is your fascination with comic books? Like, did you grow up reading them? So much. No, actually, no, I didn't. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I did. Uh, my business partner did. I was a screenwriter, a struggling screenwriter um, at the time. And me and Joe had written a few screenplays together. And he was like, hey, what do you know about comic books? And I was like, "Not nothing. And he's like, oh, well, you should, like, check some of these books out. So he let me, like, preacher. I don't know if you guys read Preacher, but it's pretty awesome. And um, a few other things. And I was like, oh, like comic books aren't just superheroes. So I started, once I started reading them and kind of figuring out uh, what the, what comic books could be besides just the superhero stuff, I was immediately interested in it. So I came in in a different a way, I guess, than most people. Yeah, no, I think that's cool, though. It gives a fresh perspective to the world of comics. Right. I mean, yeah. Now, now, I mean, when we first started, too, it was 2005. So, I mean, comics have obviously been around forever. But, like, I feel like even in the last, like, decade, it's really taken it to another level with the mainstream and how Marvel's blown up and now Walking Dead. And everybody's, like, you're seeing so many more people who never read comics before getting into the medium. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love that you're from Philadelphia, and I think that you should make a, a comic. We're literally like neighbors. We We're neighbors. from down We're the street. Literally neighbors now. <laughs> now and, and now then. And then. Didn't know about it then. That's true. We went to the same college. We just found out too. Yeah. Oh, that's so crazy. Tem Temple We're alumni. Whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna have to make a comic with uh, Philadelphia as one of the settings. We do actually. We set a few of our things in Philly. Yeah. Grim Fairy, Tales. Grim Fairy Tales has a Philly setting. Um, yeah, so. Awesome. Maybe well, read some stuff. Yeah. Some free stuff. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so where can people check out your uh, company? Well, Xenoscope.com. It's pretty easy. Uh, or, I guess, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Zen just look up Xenoscope. It's not Z E N E S C O P E. Did I say that too fast? I got it. I'm following. I'm going to follow you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Ralph.